U.S. stocks closed lower on Tuesday after stronger-than-expected retail sales data stoked worries that the Federal Reserve could keep interest rates higher for longer. The Dow, S&P 500, and the Nasdaq each shed more than 1 percent. A report from the Commerce Department showed U.S. retail sales rose more than expected. It was the fourth straight monthly increase, suggesting the economy remains strong, maybe too strong for the Fed, which has been trying to slow growth to tame inflation. But Liz Miller, founder and president of Summit Place Financial Advisors, says Wall Street may have overreacted to the strong data. You know, I think investors are really trying to figure out if good economic data means our Federal Reserve will have to raise rates further. I don't think that's going to be meaningful to where the market or the economy goes at this point. We've now seen the Fed raise for over a year and that both the economy and consumers have digested the rates pretty well. If the Fed raises one or two more times, I don't think it's going to change investing decisions uh, for the everyday consumer or for businesses. So I don't think we need the concern that the market's reflecting today. Among individual movers, bank stocks slid after a report said ratings agency Fitch could downgrade multiple lenders. Shares of Wells Fargo dropped more than 2 percent, J.P. Morgan Chase fell 2.5 percent, and Bank of America shed more than 3 percent. Shares of General Motors fell more than 2 percent after Berkshire Hathaway cut its stake in the automaker. But Warren Buffett's firm gave a nearly 3 percent boost to shares of D.R. Horton, after Berkshire disclosed a new investment in the home builder.